Hey there, cats and kittens. Okay, why are you so small? Well, they say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but just because you like a film doesn't mean you should miniaturize yourself. Speaking of little people, this week's movie review is... This film is based on the book The Borrowers. The Borrowers are a race of humanity that is different because they are between four to six inches tall. They borrow items from the house that human beings will not notice. They do everything in their power to avoid being seen by humans so they're not put on display or treated as toys. That's their chief rule. Don't be seen. We follow the adventures of a family. The principal character is Arietti, a young girl, early teen I would say, who is learning the art of borrowing from her father, Pod. And this causes great concern to her mom, Homily, who is afraid of things happening to her. She is accidentally discovered by Sean a boy who is sent out to this country home where they live. This story takes place in compressed time as the father makes the decision that because they have been discovered that it's too dangerous for them to be there and so they've got to find a new place. During this time Ariadne finds out that Sean has a very kind heart and that he's a good person and a very quick but intense friendship blooms. Hayao Miyazaki, while not the director, is a screenwriter on this film. And you probably know him from such great films such as Ponyo, My Neighbor Totoro, Castle in the Sky, Howl's Moving Castle, Spirited Away, as well as numerous other films. When I saw this film, I was instantly transported to this beautiful storybook-like Japanese countryside where even all the little insects were cute and had little characters. And so it's funny because the insects, the cat, and nature are very able supporting characters. Arietti, as the female lead, is cute and charming and brave, but she makes a lot of mistakes, and the filmmakers wisely avoid making her a little warrior princess. The father is a wonderful male role model, and we don't see enough strong fathers in animated films when they're not obstacles to be overcome by the female leads. She is learning, but it's quite clear who the expert is, and that's the dad. And so I was very pleased to see a strong male figure, not be a caricature, but rather someone who actually enables the female lead accomplish her goals. The mom, Homily, is very funny, and she holds her own. So she's also very entertaining. Sean, as kind of a more um, suffering, melancholy character, was nice. Um, he was a little bit too sedate at times, but nonetheless, I thought he made a very compassionate, sympathetic character that Arietti, in her own way, was kind of nurturing towards. There is a good friendship between Arietti and Sean. I would have liked to see more of it, but Again, given the time frame of the film, it's understandable. This is a family film, but I wouldn't recommend taking children under five as it's very serene, um, sedate, zen, and contemplative. And so they might be bored, but for children seven and up and teens and adults, it's a good film because it opens the door to conversation about the idea of tolerance. I can without reservation give this film a solid A. I will buy this film. And I definitely recommend that you go out and see it in the movie theater. It's an exquisite film. Why not an A+. Well, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make a solid emotional connection with any of the characters, but I was again blown away by the artistry of the film. Alright guys, as always, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and pin me to your homepage. I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I'll be talking to you very soon. Bye.